Well, the watchmaker comes from William Paley, who, the theologian, who mm-hmm. said that there must be a God because if you find a watch, you pick out, you pick up the watch. He was crossing a heath, he said. You open it up. It was a great big pocket watch in those days. Back when watches were watches. Yes, yes right. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, and you see all the cog wheels and springs and things. It had to have a designer, of course it did. And so how much more would you say that of an eye or a knee joint or anything living? So that, that's the Paley watchmaker argument. Natural selection is the blind watchmaker. It produces results that are like watches. They're beautifully designed. Eyes are beautifully designed, certain flaws, but they are beautifully designed. And they come about not through any design process, not through any deliberate design, but through the blind watchmaker, which is natural selection. So it's a so that's hard for people to accept, especially if they're deeply religious. Yes, because they have they already have an account. Yes. Now right. you're saying one of the acts of their god is some random force operating. He didn't have to be there at all. He didn't have to be there at all. Yes. And I think where people get confused, and even some of our people have made this mistake, uh, Fred Hoyle, who was the architect of the steady state universe who pejoratively invented the name big bang to yes. describe the universe yeah. beginning in one point he said that in a pejorative way he wanted the universe to be a steady state